Science proceeds by making observations that discriminate between rival hypotheses. Galileo's observations of the phases of Venus were decisive evidence in favor of the heliocentric model. In the geocentric model, the fact that Venus is always seen close in the sky to the Sun is explained in terms of an epicycle. As Venus moves on its epicycle, it is always between the Sun and the Earth. Thus, the phases of Venus do not change substantially since Venus always has its sunlit face pointing back towards the Sun. Nor does the apparent size of Venus change because it always lies between the Earth and the Sun. In the heliocentric model, Venus is sometimes between the Earth and the Sun and sometimes on the far side of the Sun from the Earth. When Venus is between the Sun and the Earth, we see its dark phase and so it is barely illuminated as seen by us and it is large in the sky because it is close to the Earth. When it's on the far side of the Sun from the Earth, we see its fully illuminated half, so it has a full phase and its angular size is smaller because it is far from the Earth. The changing and dramatic phases of Venus and the change of its apparent angular size were observed by Galileo and were decisive evidence in favor of Copernicus's model.